Hello everybody! Haven't seen you for a while. Actually, you haven't seen me for a while, but I believe that's okay. Summer is a busy, busy time. Why I'm here with you right now? Well, first and foremost because it's a pleasure, but there is another reason. Yesterday, for some reasons whatsoever, I remembered Captain Cook. James Cook. In fact, I remembered not just James Cook, but uh, the vandalization of his statue that occurred in Victoria about a year ago, in July 2021. To the tears of hundreds, the statue of Captain James Cook is toppled by protesters. Then the British explorer who mapped the majority of the North American Northwest coastline is tossed into the Salish Sea. That event, act of vandalism, happened in the presence of police, and the crowd consisted predominantly of the so-called white Caucasian people, uh, the so-called activists, anti-colonial activists. I don't know exactly what poor Captain Cook did to those activists. You know, that question has no answer. And I really don't understand what's going on in the heads of those people. But that's not a surprise. More or less normal person can never understand what's going on in the heads of um, you know who, right? And uh, in any case, what can we do in view of such events? Above other things, we can simply turn on our sense of humor and sarcasm. Following that guideline, I would like to share with you a very cynical and very sarcastic song about the death of Captain Cook that was written in the 70s behind the Iron Curtain by a poet and singer Vladimir Vysotsky, who passed away many years ago in 1980. You don't need to know Russian to like that song, probably, if you like it. You don't even need to understand the lyrics of it. Uh, but you definitely can hear cynicism and sarcasm of the song, which is called Why Did They Eat Captain Cook? <laughs> One more funny thing, by the way. Uh, some time ago, I was listening to that song in the presence of a young lady who asked me the coolest question ever. She asked me, and what does the word kuka mean? Well, I told her that kuka is one of the ways to pronounce the last name of Captain James Cook. Anyway, let's take a look what was going on a year ago. To the tears of hundreds, the statue of Captain James Cook is toppled by protesters. You know, this is nothing compared to 1,505 children buried in unmarked graves. This is nothing. This is taking down a symbol of colonialism. Captain Cook. Granny, I do understand your hatred of colonialism. But if you hate colonialism so much, you have to do the following thing. First, you should lay down your Canadian passport, give up your Canadian citizenship and your Canadian pension, and go back to the country from which your ancestors came to Canada. I don't know whether it was England, Scotland, Ireland, uh, Holland, doesn't really matter. Go back. And do not forget to give up your real estate. You most likely have a house or an apartment, and from the point of view of your logic, it is stolen because it was built on a stolen land, so you should donate it to one of the Aboriginal nations. You don't want to do that? Well, then you are a very hypocritical person. I'm sorry. This is nothing. This is nothing. This is taking down a symbol of colonialism. Captain Cook. Не хватайтесь за чужие талии, вырвавшись из рук своих подруг. Помните, как к берегам Австралии подплывал покойный ныне Кук. Ну почему абориген съели Кука? С 
Да что ли я знаю, молчит наука, мне представляется совсем простая штука. Хотели кушать и съели кука. Есть вариант, что их не вождь большая бука. Сказал, что очень вкусный кок на судне кука. Ошибка вышла, вот о чем молчит наука. Хотели кока, а съели кука. И вовсе не было подвоха или трюка. Пошли без стука, почти без звука. Пустили в действие дубинку из бамбука. Тюк прямо в темя и нету кука. Но есть однако же еще предположение, что кука съели из большого уважения, что всех наускивал колдун хитрец из люка. А то, ребята, хватайте кука. Что уплетет его без соли и без лука? Тот сильным, смелым, добрым будь, вроде кука. Кому эту под руку попался каменюха, Метнул ходюка и нету кука. А дикари теперь заламывают руки, Ломают копия, ломают луки. Сожгли и бросили дубинки из бамбука, Переживают, что съели кука. Captain Cook. That's all it is. It was the grand finale of July 1st, where instead of Canada Day celebrations, indigenous stories and songs were shared from the steps of the BC legislature. Police say the event was received.